everybody, it's P. Um, I'm here to share a project with you guys. Uh, Miss Miranda, she's Miss Liberty 25 here on YouTube, asked me to show my cone that I just made, and it's right up there. You can see it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so um, I wanted to give you guys the you know, hanging view before I actually um, pulled it down and show you guys all the details. So, as you can see, it's pretty big. It's 14 inches long. So, um, but let's get it down and then I'll show you guys all the details. Hey guys, uh, here's the close-up of my cone here. This is a uh, paper mache cone. It's 14 inches long. I purchased these. I purchased all that they had, which was three. I have one left. Um, and so what I did with this one is I painted the um, inside black. And uh, I covered the whole thing with my grandmother's Mother Goose pages again that had fallen out of the book. And you can see the image. It's a what appears to be a male robin talking to a little chickadee in there. Um, I did ink around the edge right here just a little bit, but this right here is the natural aging of the paper. I uh, covered the whole thing in the Mother Goose papers, cut out this image, or fussy cut it out, I guess you could say, and um, then started adding Tim Holtz Black Crackle paint, Distress Crackle paint around it. You can see it really good right there and just highlighted it um, with a little bit of uh, cream colored paint and while painting it I created some polka dots and around those I did the stickles again just like I did up here and then the ones that I did stickles with I added a bead cap that's just a bead cap and a silver brad and those are making memories brads just a square one and there's another one right there and then some of them I just left as plain polka dots. I didn't put the stickles around all of them. And then for the trim up here on top, I took a piece of fabric about four inches wide. And I ran a gathering stitch down the middle of it with some heavy duty thread. Um, I like the crochet cotton for stuff like that. And um, then I snipped it about every quarter inch or so. It's a um, white on cream print, really, really pretty uh, paisley print. And then I dunked it in my coffee and tied off the strings and threw it in the dryer to get all um, ragged. And I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It adds a lot of texture and um, adds to the vintage appeal. And then on top of that, I ran chain in swoops here. And in between each swoop, I hung a little charm. So there's like a little key. Here, let me get my fingers out of the way. Jeez Louise. Little key. And then um, over here is a charm that says live. And over here is a heart. This is uh, made with love. And then in the center kind of is a one that says imagine. And then I also hung um, two strands of charm hanging down on the side here. And this one has just a pearl and a vintage bead right here. And then just a little glass bead and this is just a Tim Holtz metal tag and then on the other side I did um, a button and then on the other side it has a little metal piece I bought it that way and then a black velvet heart and a couple of silver beads and then in the center here is uh, 
more of the Bethany Lowell crepe paper trim. I'm using one I got, girls, and I, I really love the softness that it adds to it. And then this lollipop flower was made by Tracy's Treasures 24. She only sent me one white one, and so I reluctantly used the one white one I had. <laughs> but it's really beautiful and it fits us perfectly, so that's the whole purpose of it, right? We can't hoard everything. Hoard vault's almost empty! <laughs> and then I used uh, uh, some more chain to hang it from this time, just to continue with that chain theme, which I really love the way that this one looks. I I love the vintage appeal to it, and I think it adds kind of a little bit of, um, I don't know, a shabby chicness to it. And then down at the bottom, I have a little um, glass bead that looks like cracked glass. I love these beads. And then just two tiny little black seed beads um, to cap it off. And so that's it, guys. This is my cone. Um, Miranda said she was going to copy it to a T, so let's see what you can do, girl. Go for it. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for letting me share, everybody, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye!